Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to actually make XML format in Visual Studio Code. So first of all guys, before we get started with that, I will show you how to download Visual Studio Code in the first place. You just have to go to your browser and from here guys, you just have to click on the URL section and search for Visual Studio Code. After that guys, I really highly recommend you that you go to code.visualstudio.com and then compare the logo which is the blue logo here with this logo which is the purple one sorry here it is so the purple one because they are kind of similar they have the same name but they are completely different softwares so this one is visual studio code and this one is visual studio in this tutorial i'm using the blue logo guys so make sure that you are on the bluish logo website now as you can see here all you can all you have to do is click on download for windows over here and here you can drag this arrow down if you have any other operating system for example mac os or linux of course you can have other downloads or open it in web as you can see here now let's go back here and let's say that you have installed everything and everything is set up for you first of all all you need to do is actually go to file and then you will find two options here there is a new text file and here there is new file so if i want to new text file and i click here to select a language and i search for xml you will be able to do that like so so here it is the format xml the second way which is by clicking on file new file something like that and then add dot xml and save and here it is so these are the two ways that you can with them create an xml format code and here you can use your xml script keep doing whatever you want add it to your project and etc so hey guys that was it i hope to learn something from this video if you have any other questions please leave them down below in the comment section and see you guys in the next tutorial